What's up my dudes, Val here. Today, Anime World Tower Defense just updated where they nerfed basically everything. Some things got buffed, some things got nerfed. There's a whole lot and I'm gonna be real, I don't feel like going over it, so uh, go look at the patch notes if you care. I really don't care because like I said before, I play this game just super casually now. That's why I don't make tier lists, I just get on, I evolve cool units and then I get off. But today, we're gonna be checking out the new Secret Rare Plus uh, Hero Killer Stain. Uh, let's go ahead and look up Hero. Hero Slayer Savage right here. Uh, he has a manual blood curdle. Secondary passive. When this unit attacks effect or attacks an enemy affected by bleeding, the enemy gets stunned for a certain amount of time. Blood curdle. Time stop all enemies affected by bleeding and inflict vulnerable on them for 48 seconds. 480 second global cooldown. Also, it's got a cosmetic. Let's see what it is. But it leads anti-hero category uh, attack plus 125%. Uh, hidden power, I have a maxed out 115, 112, 85. I have the fallen one on him. Oh, I gotta do this too, real quick. Level 55, so here. you Now you guys can see the right stats. Uh, but I have the fallen one on him. Uh, plus 50% dot damage, plus 30% attack, 15% range, blah, blah, blah. He's super cheap to play, so fallen one should go absolutely crazy on him. Uh, even with a 5 SBA. Bloody Hunt, Anti-Hero, Corrupted Savior, Embodiment of Fear, Fierce Fighter, Hunter's Instinct, Master Technique, Swift and Deadly, Sword Master, Unyielding Spirit, and Vengeful Justice. I'm going to have him on, I could probably put him on a Fierce Fighter lead and get a little bit more attack out of him, but I'm going to be real, I really don't care. Oh, this is a sick looking uh, cosmetic. Super cool. Come try and get me, you fakes. Yeah, that's super, super sick. Uh, but I'm going to be using him on a Bloody Hunt team because I do believe this is where you're going to be using him the absolute most, quite obviously, because Bloody Hunt is so good. So let's go ahead and check out exactly what he does and how good he is. Uh, we're going to go to Training Field. We're going to just go to Normal, Create, and let's see how good Hero Killer Stain is. Let's see. Uh, it could be very Pog. I don't know. And like I said, there was a ton, an absolute truckload of balance changes this update. So if you're curious... Go check out the uh, update log in the Discord, and if you don't have access to the Discord, then uh, good luck finding out. Okay, so let's go ahead and not do this right away. We're just going to upgrade her, and then we're going to place our Hero Killer Stain. Any spawn animation or anything like that? Nope. Uh, we're going to go ahead, put him on one time speed so we can see, and let's check this out. 118 range off rip right, with a giant absolutely massive circle he's got hemorrhage too 100 percent chance to inflict bleeding and 100 percent chance to inflict hemorrhage because he has fallen one actually i think this is uh going to be 100 percent chance regardless if i remember right but yeah um hemorrhage is going to be really really good so let's go ahead and see the animations let me make sure animations are on all right and let's take a look that's a neat little animation let's go ahead upgrade to the next point dagger flurry line so he goes from a very big circle to a line okay uh you can see he's still ground by the way uh he does he is not air even though a bloody hunt doesn't really need an air because a blood queen got moved to hill but yeah still something to keep note of that's a cool little animation just plop 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 okay so next one dual blade fury now he gets ground and goes back to a circle this looks to be a smaller aoe than he has on spawn but still pretty good regardless still quite large all right and that's him at max so before any buffs he's at 1.87 million with 209 range 6.5 spa and he has the active blood curdle so we're going to just for a dps test uh we're going to go ahead sell him real quick and then come over here and replace him that way we have the max amount we can do we're going to do this we're going to place this place leader upgrade this all the way pop this pop this put you to stop because i do want to see how much damage he's going to be able to get on his own and then we're going to do blood moon all right so now we're going to make sure to turn on active animations that way if his animation has something we can see it and let's spawn in because we have fallen one and i'm pretty sure it's gonna be op two three two three one two three 100 billion so his attack stat right now is 8.79 million you can see how much damage he's doing absolutely ludicrous amounts of damage absolutely insane uh we're going to turn it down to one times because we are going to pop this blood curdle here 
and just see exactly how good it is. Okay, so there's no active to it. Just the big spooky eyes in the sky. And now we're gonna go ahead and go back to five times speed and just see how much damage he gets up to. You guys can already see, he's at two billion. Uh, he's still cooking, still going. Said so the only downside is he's not full AOE, but whenever it comes to single target damage, you guys can see how much damage he's absolutely just dishing out. Crazy, crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, because he applied time stop and vulnerable. Yeah, you guys can see how much damage he's just pumping out with all the things he has going on for him. Super, super crazy amounts of damage. Yeah, and he is the only one attacking, right? Right, yeah, he's the only one. So how much damage is he going to be able to have done by the time this thing gets to the end? This is why I put it to 100 bill, because I wasn't entirely sure what he would be able to do, because Fallen One is a very strong trait, and he seems like a very strong unit. So let's let it crash here. 6.5 billion damage worth. Uh, 6.5 billion damage, absolutely insane. Uh, he is definitely a monster. I said the only real downside to him is the fact that he's not full AOE, but look at the price he has. Uh, he's pretty cheap compared to what he is, or he's pretty cheap for what he is, and he's just a super, super strong unit. Anyways, let me know what you guys think in the comment section below. Thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.